Gotta take a little time A little time to think things over I better read between the lines In case I need it when I'm old No, shut that mother music off. Now let's get this party started. Maar dit doe ik graag voor mijn broertje Jurani en wij staan echt 
en zijn aanstaande echtgenoot Dave. <coughs> Jurelli en Dave, het is voor mij een grote eer om deze dag samen met jullie te vieren en vooral omdat ik getuige mag zijn op deze voor jullie bijzondere dag. I just said we don't have to tell each other every day that we love each other because we don't have to tell each other here that we love each other because we do it every day, <laughs> verbally or whatever. But I wanted to share one, um, one, one happening which I experienced a number of months ago which for me illustrates uh, why I want to marry uh, Jirendi. It was an, a few months ago I was in the kitchen washing up while Jirendi was off somewhere in the traveling and I was on my own washing the dishes. I was remembering this incident when we were on a cruise uh, ship a few months ago and Jirendi said something and I replied and he said something in back again and before we knew it we were laughing for a half an hour together in his room on the ship. So I was doing the washing up and I was re remembering this incident and I started to giggle while doing the washing up and the giggle became a laugh. The laugh became more of a laugh while I was on my own washing up while Jirendi was somewhere <laughs> up in the world. Somebody, I was thinking, you can make me laugh when he's not even in the room, when he's not even in the country. <laughs> so that is the person that I need to marry. Great, you tell her. For me, it's a, a very uh, funny moment because I said already there were three moments when we met each other. It was like August, September, and October, and all these three moments were like different. And for me, it was like this is really, really meaning something because how is possible that three moments separate from each other, you keep getting in contact with this person, and finally. We end up like chatting on the on the phone. I was in Kuala Lumpur, and he should, he's supposed to go to work, and he missed job that day. I guess because we were like hours and hours. I I supposed to go to the swimming pool with my colleague, and I didn't appear there because we were like chatting and chatting and chatting, and not knowing this person, and I didn't have any idea who he was. But it was really fun, and I was thinking like, this feels good. This feels really good. And from that moment, I came back to Amsterdam, and we met each other that night, and still now we are together. So, that's my David Anthony Brown, verklaart u te nemen tot uw wettige echtgenoot, Jurendi Jacinto Lucas, en belooft u getrouw alle verplichtingen te zullen vervullen die door de wet van de huwelijke stad wordt verbonden. Wat is daarop? Ja. Jurendi, de Jacinta Lucas, verklaart u te nemen tot uw wettige echtgenoot David Anthony Brown en belooft u getrouw alle verplichtingen te zullen vervullen die voor de wet aan de huwelijke staat wordt verbonden. Wat is daarop uw antwoord? Ja. Dan verklaar ik Sheila Kirikori als buitengewoon ambtenaar van de burgerlijke stand van de gemeente Amsterdam dat u door het huwelijk aan elkaar bent verbonden.
speak the words and now I learned from your mom and dad Fulcher Rowett um, the one thing that has happened today we have made acquisitions you have made an acquisition I have a son-in-law a new son-in-law so Derek the number who was number one <laughs> Derek is still there, but Gerardi has to earn his place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't come easily. Now, while Bob and Jefferson whiskey always works. Yeah. 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 years behind you as well. <laughs> you wish. And then we we'll see. May I say that Maria has acquired a son-in-law in the person of David. And I hope, Maria, he is behaving himself well. And if there are any problems, don't come to me. <laughs> <coughs> but Mary here has acquired a son-in-law in the person of Gerandi. Thank you. <laughs> but I think Gerandi has drawn the short straw here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Gerandi, Gerandi, I can make life easy for you. Mary loves to travel. <laughs> Mary loves air, air miles. She eats them up. And while she's up there in the air, she's out of your hair. <laughs> Look, it only remains for me to say, I, I, I have two toasts to make. The first one is that I would like you to raise your glasses in friendship between the, all of us. The Jews. Friendship. Yeah. friendship. And the second one, as I said, I've already spoken to Case. I don't know whether it's my place or not, but Case has said uh, I should do it. And that is the proposal toast to David and Gerandi, wishing them good health, happiness and prosperity. So David and Gerandi. His 
sincerity, his love, his, his honesty, his openness was something very humbling to experience. And it's at that moment that you give up all of your pretensions of, of simplicity, of, of easy fun, of easy party, of, of transient happiness, which is based on alcohol and going out and people who don't have a, a, a connection to you. We made such a connection. And we held on to it. And I learned from it. So that we tell each other every single day how much we love each other. Here, here. And I think it's, a, it's important for you to see that and to experience that. There's nothing more that I want in the world, even through tears, even through emotion, to let you see what this is and what it is that will sustain both of us for the rest of our lives together. So we thank see. you for witnessing this.